So for this drawing, I start off by using a mechanical pencil, which isn't actually in this photograph. Um, and then I use a variety of pens. So I will go over my pencil marks with my Lamy Safari pen, which has got a fine nib in this case. And inside it has Noodler's Bulletproof ink, which is waterproof. Once I'm happy with my lines, I'll then go in with the really dark areas and the shadow areas with my Pentel Japanese brush pen. And then I'll use my platinum carbon pen, which has got an extra fine tip. And I'll use that to do some fine lines and the features, anything that doesn't require a heavy marks. Well, normally when I'll draw from life, um, I just go in straight in with a pen, really, because I don't want to be um, tight at all. In this case, though, I wanted to put a bit more thought into the drawing. So I start with a pencil just to get the basic shapes in. And then once I'm happy with that drawing, I'll then go over with my Lamy Safari, which I'll use loosely over the top, making corrections as I go. And this one's got a fine nib and I'm using bulletproof, waterproof ink inside. That's by Noodless, isn't it? Yes, that's right. So as you can see, I'm still being quite loose. I'm not being slavish to the pencil marks underneath. And then once I've done that, I'm just gonna go in with the uh, carbon pen just to do the features because it is slightly finer and then I'm going in with my Pentel brush pen Now this pen you can see is so good for making really dark marks and you can use really really thin lines because the tips like a really pointy brush and you, or you can use really really thick lines for the really shadowed areas and this lady was wearing kind of like a black outfit but of course the black will still catch the light That really starts sort of pulling it to life, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So the darkest shadow areas are in. Now I'm putting in the sort of uh, more of the black of her clothes just to get a feel for it. But I'm leaving the areas that are catching the light. And she's got a little pattern on that sort of scarf that she's wearing around her waist. Do you mean a belt? Is it a belt? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not down with the kids. <laughs> So then I'm going back in with my carbon pen with just to do some hatching, really. And that's all vertical, straight, isn't it, you've done that? Yeah, just straightforward vertical, no cross hatching. And I'm just making them darker in areas which would, you know, be under shadow. And this is where I now start with my watercolour. Now, if I'd have wore, been using water-soluble ink before, then it would have all smudged. So that's why I've been um, using the bulletproof ink. So I've started with some burnt sienna with a very light touch of alizarin crimson. And I just blot areas off where I've gone in a bit too dark. But remember, it does actually dry paler than it goes on. I think there was a little bit of um, yellow ochre in there and a bit of permanent rose in the areas where, you know, like the knees and the nose and the mouth, fingertips, you know, the areas that, a, a perhaps more extreme where she's got a fake tan on <laughs> so lightly i'm going over so it's interesting is it because it's a black outfit but where it catches a light is not she was actually wearing a black skirt a black top and a black leather jacket but you need it to catch the light and that's it it's really quite simple quite quick and really effective why not check out our previous videos and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss your Art Kick Sunday. Meanwhile, you can check out our podcast and find the creative challenges we have coming up at www.kickinthecreatives.com. Back soon.